right-hander Zach Gallen looking for a return to form. The Diamondbacks have lost to Zach's last two starts. They're looking for big things from Zach here tonight. He does not like to lose. Mm -mm, not two in a row, certainly. Profar walked and singled as the leadoff man yesterday, and that extended his major league leading on base streak to 36 consecutive games. And he's going to reach for a 37th consecutive time. Profar draws a walk. Gallen not happy. He doesn't walk anybody. That's just his 15th walk all year. He sends one to left center. Here comes Corbin Carroll to run it down, and that's quickly one away for Zach. One out, one on. Here's Ryan McMahon. This is a ground ball up the middle off the glove of Marte. Tried to flip it after knocking it down. Tried to flip it almost on the ground but couldn't do so as Profar got in there and they'll charge Marte with an error. The Rockies have two one and one out for Elias Diaz. Bounces it to third. Rivera for one. Marte. And they roll it. Gallen gets the double play. Gets out of trouble. Diamondbacks coming up against Kyle Freeland. Kyle's ready to go. He's got a four and five mark and a 386 earned run average. And against the National League West this year, he's got a 225 ERA. Marte back in the lineup after a scheduled off day yesterday in the opener. Homered off Kyle Freeland at Coors Field when we were there last month. Marte in the air. Field. Off the pole and gone. Well, now he's homered off him again. <laughs> One nothing Diamondbacks. They shoot on top. First batter of the ball game for Marte. That's number eight. Nine game inning streak and a 28 game on base streak. All in one swing. Oh, man. 87. Mid thigh, mid plate. You can tell Marte from the right side just absolutely crushes that ball. Clangs off the pole. His fifth career leadoff home run. And it's a two out walk. Here comes Longo. Longoria's got good numbers against Freeland, hitting 306 and 36 at bats. Longoria smashes one to center. Evan Longoria gone. Two first inning home runs, and it's 3 0 Diamondbacks. How about 452 feet? Woo. Well, one of the keys of the game was righties. It's your turn. Evan Longoria must have been listening. Boy, did he crush this one. 88 mile an hour fastball out over the plate where he could get his arms out there and hook that ball back to left center. A bomb. Seventh of the year for Evan Longoria. Chris Bryant will lead off against Zach Gallant. And that ball is lasered to center field. That's a good at bat. Got himself in a hitter's count and drove it to center field. So good for Chris. A leadoff single. Rockies had Profar on leading off the first. Sends this out to left center. Guriel is there. Well, that almost carried over his head. Some loud contact greeting Zach Gallo to start the Rockies second. Once more for Guriel. And he's got that one. They really got him going in all directions out there. Yeah, one going back over his head. That one coming in, sliding. And here's Brenton Doyle, Rocky center fielder. Two outs. Got him with a curveball. First strikeout for Zach, who holds a 3 0 lead. First and second now for the Rockies and Elias Diaz. You want somebody up with runners in scoring position? It's this guy. Behind second, look out for McCarthy! Well, Zach Gallen flirted with danger there, but Jake McCarthy from out of nowhere ends the third. And here is Guriel in May. No player in the league has a higher OPS or slugging percentage than Lourdes Guriel Jr. To third, diving stop. McMahon, can he get it out? At first, he can. What a play by Ryan McMahon. That was flat out gorgeous. Highlight reel here for Mac. He dives and then it's one thing to dive and get the ball, but then to know what I need to do afterwards. Mac it also has to spin around. So he gets back up and then comes right over the top and gets Curiel by a good stride. And put a couple stars by that play for Mac. One out, Rivera is at second and Walker's at first. Currently playing baseball. This could be two. There's one and there's two. So Longoria, two run home run his first time and then hits into a Kyle Freeland specialty. A double play. Three nothing, Arizona. Bryant leads off the fourth inning. And when you're not, you're not. The cutter got Bryant. And that for Gallon is strikeout number two in the first side here on the fourth inning. Nolan Jones, the hitter now. And fishing on a curveball, and Gallon gets strikeout number three. A lot of cutters early. We're starting to see a few more curveballs this time through the Rockies' order, and that time Nolan Jones way out in front. 
There's a fly ball, pretty deep right center, but McCarthy is backpedaling in front of the warning track, and he's got it. And once again, Gallon strands a base runner early in the inning and keeps it 3 nothing. Carroll's 0 for 1. He grounded his second, first time up. That's ball four. Carroll draws his 23rd walk of the season to start the fourth inning. One down here in the Arizona fourth. There's Gabby Marino. And there goes Corbin. And he's in there easily. 15th for Carroll, two in the ball game for the D-backs. And there he goes again. Corbin Carroll running wild. <laughs> <laughs> I, Evil love I just love this kind of baseball. Evil laugh. I mean, this is against one of the best throwing catchers in the major leagues, and he has easily stolen two bases on Kyle Freeland. Nothing that Diaz could do on either one of those. Gabby hits a fly ball to right. Chris Bryant's under it. Corbin's at third, and here he comes. Four nothing Diamondback. All set up by those two stolen bases, giving Gabby a chance to drive in a run with an out. McMahon four hits last night, a single and a walk in tonight's affair. Got him. That's a big, big strikeout for Zach Gallen. Went to the curveball once again. Gets strikeout number five. And Gallen has worked five scoreless against the Rockies. Here's Corbin Carroll, who has grounded out, walked, and scored. Stolen two bases. Fly ball to right field. Corbin Carroll, and it's gone. Third Diamondback home run tonight, and it's 5 nothing. Number nine for Corbin. Number nine came off the bat at 109. Fastball up on the inner part of the plate, and he just turns it around. It's now five home runs in two games for the Diamondbacks against Colorado pitching. Right-hander Kevin Ginkle, who last pitched on Friday night against Boston. Kevin has worked at least two full innings, four of his last five times out. They've got nice length out of both Ginkle and McGuff. Got him! And that's the ball game. Diamondbacks beat the Rockies 5-1. They've taken the first two games of this four-game set, and Tor Labello's club gets to nine games over 500. Two home runs in the first inning, and Gallon, McGuff, and Ginkle allow only one run in nine innings.